Nope. We can get out of here now. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright. So, that's done. Uh, the layer of the Shadow Broker we're going to do later. Uh, let's see here. Assemble a team. Do 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 Okay, so we're done at Ilium for now, and now here comes the boring part of Mass Effect uh, 2. Uh, we're going to start doing the the assignments. Okay, her, now she's loyal to us. Now she got this blue suit, latex. Uh, much of a whore now. So let's put these two bitches together. Check it out, check it out, check it out. We've got a new suit. Jacob's is similar to hers as well. So let's go on to Normandy. Ugh, man. We can't skip this shit. Ugh. Like I said, we're done on uh, Alien for now. We're gonna go back and go pick up some Mora later. The adjust the car. And those are nearly indestructible. Alrighty then. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. Or maybe both. A lot of women like bad boys. That is a dirty stereotype. In my case, it happens to be true, but still. <laughs> anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Right. I'll be here if you need anything. In her hidey hole. Commander, you've received a new message at your Bitch, you told terminal. me. Shut up. <laughs> uh, you changed my life. Lord just wanted to give me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in Dantius Towers. You helped me get out of there. Uh, according to Tassoni, you also found Thane. Uh, he took down some of the Eclipse Mares trying to gun us down, and I wondered if you would pass along. Thanks. Uh, the way he moved was what one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another snake and shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeat, uh, heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant movement, motion. Uh, seeing him change my life woke up, woke up something in me, and I don't fully understand it yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Salarian life is too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that's lets me that, that lets me capture what I saw in him. The beauty, the aesthetic perfection. I also going to buy some nice clothes. So if you could tell him that or whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I appreciate it. Sincerely, Jared. Alright, so let's get these upgrades done, then we'll go talk to Morden Solus. And then Jack downstairs. What? What? I need more uranium. So machine gun damage. Armor upgrades. Do this. Huh? Alrighty then. Alright, so what I want to go do is go pick up some uranium uh, to do that before I do anything else. Needs one more. We need one more to research. Alright, let's go talk to these people. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? 
You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the Genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the Genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. Okay. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Erdnot Rex. <laughs> Let's go to engineering, talk to Jack, go to a planet, see what we could do, get some uranium. <sighs> Jack, stop fucking hiding. What the fuck? Alright. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. Okay. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell. Begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me. Then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. All right, then. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. I'll think about that. Yep. Alright. Da 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 da. Matter of fact, let me go talk to Grunt. Shepard. Just checking in. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. 
Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Alright, that grunt. Okay. <laughs> That's grunt. And Jack Grunt, Zaid, Masani, Kasumi Goto, Thing, Krios, uh, Gary's Vicarian, Miranda Lawson. Let's go talk to people. Thane is in life support. Whoa, hell no, he talks too much. <laughs> Save him Weren't for last. you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. Really does the bullet. Yeah. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'll be here if you need me. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Time to talk to Thane. <laughs> He's so deep. Too deep in his thoughts. Let's see how Kasumi's holding up. There you are. What? Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. <laughs> Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Alright. Not doing that. <sighs> thing, thing, thing. Taking a risk here. <laughs> Do you need something? That's about Do you thing. mind if I ask you a few Not questions? Not at all. That's There's something else ask. I'd like to talk about. Have a few minutes Certainly. to talk. Man. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hammer trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? 
There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them, 